Hey guys, Dastro here. You finally made it. This is a Grand Championships, the 5v5 Level BF Invitational. Two top teams from North America and Europe. Six fins. And so awesome. SA says they're ready. We're going live, guys. So I'm going to go, go, go ahead right. and go to the splash screen. Here, Here we go. go. Okay. So, Dasko, who are you going to say is going to come out on top on this one for this this North this American round? server match? Yes. I, think, I think for this first round, six fence is going to do it. I I just I well, they actually no, they're playing on our U side. I mean, I I don't know. Hmm. You know what? I'm I'm going to give the I'm going to give it the experience level to, to six fence. I'm going to say that they've just been playing together for a lot longer. They've been playing in this setting for a lot longer. I think that that may be what decides uh, this match right here. It's just the fact that they're experienced. They're going to be a little bit more calm. Uh, so I'm going to give the edge to them. All right, we are live, and they and here and here come the caps. Here come the caps. Going down to Bravo. We have on six fins, three man push, pushing on lockers. We have two holding on elevator. Six fins gets a double kill, triple kill, quadruple kill. That may be almost a wipe for SA. Six fins can we take Oh yeah, six fins already down here by uh, by B trains, already set up, looking down the the, the lane, ready for the, a, any kind of a push. We do have smokes coming out for SA, uh, as well as uh, a big push coming over through B trains. Now six fins uh, over onto A trains by side stairs. They're already set up. They they got uh, one player over by side. They have another back into trains. Here we go. The exchanges are going back and forth. And uh, yeah, I think they're going to be uh, pushing in here real quick, trying to get this triple cap. Uh, right off the break, really. Yes, yeah, six fins holding uh, some amazing lanes on the right side. Going to the left side, what do we see here? Yeah, and uh, actually, SA just had a squad wipe over, or just got squad wiped, rather, over onto B trades. And uh, six fins right now looking to go for the uh, go for the triple cap at the moment. Oh my goodness! Uh, two players for six fins just got taken out. Uh, there's a third. So uh, yeah, SA on the back foot right now. They got to be getting worried right now. I mean, this is this quick into the match, and uh, they're already back here at their uh, their gimme flag. Yeah, uh, Borneo uh, was certainly right here. The aggression here is something that we did not see in any other of the North American games. This fast, getting wipes and moving as quick as they can to better positions closer to the enemy points. Yeah, now we do see two uh, SA players. This is going to be Clicks and Repent. They're going to be over on the side stairs, getting ready to make a push uh, up into lockers, possibly. We do, that, and then we have another one over on the front stairs. Yeah, and, and, and take in mind, two of the SA guys have made their way up into Bravo. One on elevator and one uh, one uh, on side stairs. They are graying out Bravo, but at the same time, Charlie's being taken. Yeah, their gimme flag is going to be flashed right now, which is incredibly frustrating uh, to be in that particular position. Uh, because right now, I mean, they're not going oh, to be without clicks, flags. Clicks so with if they a great do wipe, double kill, but not enough. Yeah, so if they do wipe, they will have to actually come back from spawn unless they can get B. Yes, they, they still have one on Bravo. They have two on Bravo now, including on lockers. But they have to grace them quickly because, again, they're all kept right now. Now, nope, spoke too soon. Oh, man. Yeah, this is a really bad position though to be in on Metro uh, because they will be getting hit from both uh, both sides, and uh, B flag is not really the best place to be when uh, when you're getting hit from uh, basically coming up the stairs and uh, coming out of Metro. Yes, they are backtracking a bit. What what action do we see at Alpha? I see two uh, six fin guys on Alpha. Has an SA already pushed into Alpha a bit as well? Uh, I'm not really sure about that, but we do have uh, two SA players getting wiped over onto the side stairs with six fins pushing up into side. Already getting us onto the B burn. We do have one player up on front wall and in front locker. So uh, yeah, it's looking like uh, SA is uh, they're in trouble. They're trying to get back up on the C. They are on the C burn right now. Yes. Uh, they will be uh, hopefully getting that grade there, out here pretty soon. There was one or two players from uh, SA that were able to push up into Alpha, but they were wiped after three six fins pushed in and grenaded them tremendously. And now they're losing Bravo. But what's happening on Charlie? 
Yeah, so it looks like right now, four players from SA are going to be back here onto C uh, because they did lose that B spawn. So uh, they're going to be able to get this flag back, but again, they're going to be pushed down uh, into the tunnels, which is not a good place to be in uh, as the U.S. side. And uh, yeah, Six Vins is doing a great job of uh, keeping the pressure on and winning these uh, winning these gunfights. I mean, they're, they're every one-on-one -on -one fight, pretty much Six Vins is winning them. Yeah, Six Vins cer most certainly winning a lot of the fights. Looking at the score right now, um, some of the Six Vins guys have just, have, uh, including Hinka and Masu, hasn't died yet. Hinka with Ted and Two. All of them doing actually pretty well, getting a, 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 a decent number of kills. Um, SA just getting a lot more deaths than this. Yeah, absolutely. And I think it, I mean, it's coming down to the experience level. I mean, these guys know exactly where to uh, set up for these picks. Uh, they're doing a great job of getting picks and then moving uh, for the six fin side. And uh, SA just, I, they just don't know where to go. I mean, they're, they're, they're trying to, uh, trying to get picks. No. But at the same time, as soon as they get one, three of them, you know, three six fins come out of nowhere, end up uh, beating them in a team fight, and then they're wiped. Nuri with a double kill, uh, but Haitha and Sleep respond and kill Warburg and Masu. Uh, going back to Charlie, still no a six fin guys on it, but boy, they are close. Yeah, we do have uh, six fins pushing down into maps. Uh, we have another one over onto the side stairs. Do we do have uh, SA trying to push out right now? Uh, we have a uh, one on two. Here comes the reses over onto the side stairs. It does look like they ended up getting out, uh, but uh, the only problem is, is I don't think there was anybody over there onto B trains, so they may be or A trains, so they may be losing C here pretty soon uh, if they don't uh, lock it out. Now B is going to be flashing. Uh, looks like. Uh, Oh, they are going to be staying alive over into front Repent lockers. With an amazing Repent. double kill. Nice job. That's big. Of winning that fight. Nice job. But will Wahlberg respond in kind? They're pushing up on lockers. Here come the yeah, nades. Yeah, we do have uh, two two players pushing into now min, into mid lockers. Here we come. Uh, here comes the uh, the Lots pressure. We're about to see a nice gunfight right one. here. Oh, click coming out on top. But another one pushing into mid lockers. One down. One into back. Here it comes. Hinka is going to be able to take that gunfight. Rez is Keep going off back firing. and forth. Here it's it comes. So close. Three push. Here they come around the corner, and I think, oh, oh my SA goodness. actually holding on right there. One left, though. Wow. Watch out for that one last guy. Oh, no. Clicks runs oh. right into it. <laughs> Clicks running right by him. Although we do have a uh, fight over here in the backlash, and they actually cleared out lockers. They did. They completely cleared out lockers. Looks like they have control of B completely. I think they actually just wiped six fins uh, from uh, the B area. Now we do see a setup over into uh, Ticket, uh, one going right out into Metro. I like that aggression out into Metro by Hitha. He's going to be able to put a little bit of pressure over onto A flag and maybe pull at least one, maybe two players back to try and clean that off. Yes. Um, am I correct to say that there are no six fins um, near Bravo? Is that right? Uh, we do have two six fins over here at plants at the moment with the oh and there it is We pulled back all three players from six fins to come back to a this is completely open with Hitha back here He does get taken out, but I mean it completely took all of the pressure off of SA at the moment They're gonna be able to reset get back into their positions and uh, yeah, that here was come awesome the smokes move. Now in this position, how do you think SA is gonna fare? Uh, you know, I, I'm not really sure. It depends on how uh, how the uh, uh, six fins team push as uh, as one. If they're able to push smokes. at least four guys and overwhelm them, they'll be able to do very very well. But uh, SA right now, just I mean, oh, a really great oh, defense. They smoked each other by accident. Oh, but, but I think but right here, six fins is going to be able to overtake them. Regaining ticket booth. Yeah, they do have two players over okay. here onto Ticket. Uh, SA is going to be resetting. They have one over onto back lockers. They have uh, two into uh, back stairs right now. And uh, uh, yeah, here's so the, I think... Here's the back-esque defense. This defense. I love seeing this defense. Yeah, but this is actually not a good spot to be in because one smoke and you're completely blind. Yes. Uh, they really do need to spread out, possibly get one over into uh, Cubby 2. Uh, maybe even get one over into Push left turnstiles. The so there's that smoke right it's, there. Now it's back there. It's a big res train. Useless. It's a big res train. And they're getting through to offices, through to sofas, to yep. planners. 
Yeah, six fence has broken through. Yes. Uh, they are now about to go down backstairs, and here comes uh, one six fence player going. Oh, I think okay. all to the Charlie. way into. Wait, did he go for a back range? Yeah, he's going to Charlie. You know, he's going to Charlie directly. Yep, he is going to see. There is one SA guy Hida. responding, but they are spawning on him on Charlie. They're going to try to cap Charlie quickly. Now there's three six fins guys on Charlie. Three. Yep. Hither uh, ended and up getting taken flank. down. Oh, sleep, oh, sleep, sleep not watching the right direction, and uh, yeah, six fins well, is going to be able you, you to. Well, you have to for uh, six fins. They that was a very good flank, moving around the opposite side of Charlie in order to get a uh, an angle on him. But at the same time, A is being taken right now by uh, by S A. B is just now being grayed out. Uh, so you know, S A is actually going to be flipping gimmies. And they really did even up the score quite a bit there. It is now only a 40 ticket deficit uh, still in favor of uh, six fins right now. But, uh, you know, the one thing that they got to watch out for is that uh, SA is going to have a little bit easier time because uh, they'll have a lot more cover going towards their gimme flag as opposed to six fins. Yes, going back to Bravo, uh, it looks like SA is taking back uh, Bravo. But here comes the six fins push from Charlie back to Bravo. Yeah, and it looks like uh, Six Fins is back on onto A. Uh, we do have uh, one player from Six Fins that's going to be up on uh, front stairs. With I think the only SA player actually is going to be 99. That's going to be in front lockers. So it'll be interesting to see if he's going to be able to hold this uh, push off. Two SA or two Six Fins players are now on front wall. B is now going to be flashing, and, they and take 99 him out. does go down. They they end up taking Sleet's uh, pushing them. Maybe nope. There's two more revives. Here's another one. Sleet takes out another one, but he will need to be able to take out three. No, he gets taken down. Three six fins on elevators on front stairs. Your poster is taking back Bravo. Yeah, but we do now have a uh, push from SA over onto center turns. Uh, do have two SA players now, and they are going to be fighting at qu I would say a disadvantage. They don't have a whole lot of cover back here. Six fins are going to be over onto uh, right planters and into back stairs. And they are able to clean that up, so they will be having a firm hold onto B flag right now. With uh, I think S A, they really need to uh, basically do? spawn three back to A, or three back to C, and try and get their gimme flag back, which I think is what exactly they're going to do. There are Sleet, still a few S A guys on Alpha. Though. Yeah, we do have Sleet and Clicks back here. With uh, they are going to be met the with Oh no! And they are going to be able to get C back. They just yes. cleared it off. Yes, uh, takes out repent. And uh, at the same time, uh, A is going to be uh, grayed out. So, yeah, I mean, right now, Six Fins taking that early lead right there definitely helped them out. I mean, I don't think SA was really expecting that much aggression to be coming at them that quickly. Uh, we do have Six Fins, though. Uh, uh, with some more aggression coming straight up into uh, ATM into right planners, uh, basically oh. overwhelming backstairs. They're right there, next to I each other on ATM. Oh, Gaquilly pushes up on, on a front locker, but then gets picked. Yeah, we do have uh, SA going to be resetting now. This is this is actually a really comfortable position for SA now. Uh, if they can uh, clean up the uh, any kind of elites that are going to be back here on back stairs and I think there actually is one player yes so they're gonna be uh, spawning uh, resin back here Sleet's gonna try and clean it up but not able to do it so it is still alive uh, we are gonna be having uh, Hitha and uh, Repent gonna be back here and did they clean that up? yes they did finally clean that up but I think that, that was enough time for six fins to be able to come back onto B flag and uh, reset because uh, I think they do have control of lockers. Yes, and they are going to be pushing down side stairs. Yes. So even th so, it, it 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 looks as if that uh, SA trying to make a decision where to go. Do they hold on Bravo? Or are they oh. pushing to Alpha? Because but Repent and I nine do end up cleaning up lockers and holding Bravo. I uh, that's incredible. Yeah, now we are going to be seeing... Oh, and they actually clean out uh, side stairs, too. So they oh, are going to be a, able to flank. hold on to B, I think. Are they taking and they A are as well? They were flashing A, although I did, do think that he went down. But that's exactly what they need to do, and that is what Six Fins has been doing so well this match. Uh, they've been able to get around behind them and uh, flash their flash their gimme flag and pull the SA players off of B. Click sticks out uh, one. That, we'll, cl we'll click stick out another one. Throw a nade. Get out of there. Get out of there, dude. Oh, clicks clicks dies, but d does some damage otherwise. 
Are there other? We are going to be seeing. Yeah, 99 is going to be back here over into Metro uh, Metro 2. And uh, Sixman's actually just ignoring that completely. They're going to be going right up in through Metro uh, Alley. See if he's going to actually make it. I don't think he is. I think it's taken Although, out. Although, nice job uh, from Sixman's taking out the player. And then there goes Wahlberg. Wow, taking and there out goes click. two. This is their opportunity to push up hard. Repent takes out one, but here come the smokes. Yep, smokes are coming in. 98 to 101, still in favor of six fins, but it's about to be evened up, I think, uh, if, if they can hold on to this burn for a little bit longer. Yes. And we do see six fins taking uh, control of tickets. They do have two players up in the ticket booth at the moment. Uh, but uh, at the same time, SA having a presence over into bank and into back lockers. Now we do see them pressuring uh, ticket right now. That's going to be Hitha. And he's going to be able to clean out one. I think they actually cleaned out both of them in ticket. Yes. So they are going to be able to take control of this. Uh, at the same time, wow. one person from SA was actually pushing out into A. And that was going to be able to, uh, like I said, take a little bit of pressure off of B. Hitha with the Rex! But there's so many over there, he breaks the glass, getting into the display case. Throw a nade or something, just do something. You have to do something. Oh, he's going for the peak, but oh, I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, he does take out one. I can't believe that he's still alive here. Running away real quick. He goes down, but his buddies help him out from afar. Yeah, now right now, uh, SA just took the lead for the first time in this match, 95 to 79. They are going to be uh, in a good Look how position aggressive right this here. Push if they is. can hold out this push for Whoa! Metro. 99 with a, an amazing double kill with the Rex stopping Six Fins as they are super aggressive. That's a big deal, guys. Right now, SA is over Six Fins for the first time, as Brett mentioned, by over 20 tickets now almost. Yeah, but I think they may have lost way too many tickets on the U.S. side. Uh, it would have been a little bit more comfortable if they had about uh, 70 or 80 more tickets in their favor. But, uh, yeah, so it's going to be a very close game. A six fins is not out of it by any chance. They still no, can come back and win this. Uh, with only a 30-ticket advantage in SA's favor, with six fins putting on the pressure, they do have the smokes coming out, uh, and they are pushing, trying to push through plants and uh, slant wall. And uh, I think they are going to be able to get at least into pink, maybe. Here they, and they also have a presence over in the ticket and another push. Okay, all five guys are going to be pushing up. We have three over in the push. ticket, two coming up into bank. Big push. I think they're just going to completely overwhelm this SA team. Yes, they, they are, did. They are wow. running as fast as they can just to get on back, back on the burn. They're down by almost 40 tickets. 99 with an amazing double kill. And, oh, a triple kill with the Rex. Will they be you able to still what? hold this? What we just saw right there was the perfect example of uh, an experienced team. They all pushed in at the same time. All five guys were pushing. That that right there is the difference between a good oh team my and goodness. a great team. Oh my goodness. I think that there's going to be a... That's a that's a three-kill wipe on SA. I think Six Fins may be able to hold this down. On Bravo, they're about to cap it. Here comes the cap. They got it. Yeah, they are going to be able to get the cap. Now, we do have a nice little back and forth over onto front Oh my there. goodness. Looks like SA Six is Fins getting the wrecked. winner there. Look at their, that push. Out that SA team. And yeah, SA is going to be on the back foot. Half in the I'm back all the way from spawn. They're not going to be happy about this. No, not at all. This is, I mean, S, I mean, SA was able to hold that for such a long time, but their their 40 ticket lead is now dwindling quickly. Yes, it most certainly is. We do have smokes coming out right now over onto uh, B trains at the moment uh, with uh, SA. Just I, I think SA right now is in scramble mode. Uh, they're not really sure what to do. They're kind of on the back foot right now. They know that they only have a 30 ticket advantage uh, and they most certainly would not be where they want to sit at at the moment. And the burn is in the favor of six fins. So that lead is not going to be there for too long. No. Six fins so already, already on Charlie out. Point. They are starting to gray it out. This is not oh looking man, good for I, SA. I gotta say, Six fins just completely outplaying SA at the moment. Uh, we do have uh, three players from uh, Six fins going to be pushing up into uh, A trains over into Toad. Yeah, they have this on complete lockdown right now. Uh, C is going to be burning. It's going to be grayed out right now. And there's and, the gray out. Uh, yeah, so SA is is probably going to be losing this match. I do not see them coming back from this. Um, yeah, so uh, I think Six Fins just won the first round of the Grand Finals.
Yeah, uh, Clicks and Hitha do clean up on Charlie, but they have to spend a lot more time getting it back. They get another kill, but wait, oh no, Hinka is still watching the top and uh, killing another one, but they got to get more damage on here. Sleet does take him out. All five of the uh, SA guys are on Charlie, and here comes the big aggression back uh, to middle, but six fins, they're already on lower. They're already there. And they're getting a lot yeah, more Yeah, we already kills. have six fin players over onto plants. One does get end up getting taken out. Uh, it is 43 to 48. Six fins taking the lead back again uh, in this uh, in this matchup. Now, we do have SA uh, pushing back up into side. Uh, side, side stairs. 2v2. One goes down. Here comes more. Oh, here comes a Rex, but there's a third. Oh, my goodness. Six fins is able to maintain side stairs. <laughs> Three are on two. A close battle, but not enough for SA. No, it wasn't. Now, I mean, SA, like I said, they're just getting completely overwhelmed. Six Fins able to uh, come out with these two-on-three fights in these uh, three-on-four fights, and they're just pushing really well as a team. Yes. It and almost felt like that two-on-two situation that some of the six-fin guys were simply delay spawning and waiting for where they needed to be uh, uh, most needed. Spawn in just at the right time. Guys, patience pays off. Don't just spawn in when you die. Think before you spawn in. Yeah, absolutely. Now, SA going to be, uh, looks like they're going to be camped up into paint at the moment. 19 to 45, and I think this is going to be game. I do not see SA coming back from this. Uh, yeah, it, it is, is going to be pretty much impossible to get onto the burn. And okay, in this amount of time, they would need a wipe right now, but they are just slowly pushing up. And now we do see a push from SA over here onto B trains. Uh, Clix is almost at the very end of it. He gets one. Uh, he comes around the corner. He, he gets, ends up picking and they get up two. two. But there's seven the tickets for me. Though they gotta be able to push right now. They, they gotta get keep that, that burn. push alive. But uh, not again, be four enough. Tickets Two to tickets to 45, it's not going to be enough. One ticket's and remaining. Is going to be GG, I think. And that is game 45 to zero. We'll be jumping yeah, right back in the server in just a moment. <laughs> Guys, what an amazing game, uh, I must say. I thought that at the at beginning there, we would have seen um, Six Fins just dominate them. It was so close to a triple cap, but SA came back. They came back after a successful number of squad wipes and were able to actually have a 40 ticket advantage at one point. Uh, so even though that Six Fins won, I'm a bit surprised that uh, SA was able to come back that well. I, I, I think SA still has got a chance here. Yeah, I wasn't surprised that they were able to come back. Um, you know, I, I did think that they were going to actually, you know, at least be able to fight their way up into uh, front wall. Uh, what surprised me so much was that they were on the verge at one point uh, of getting a triple cap. They were actually burning down A. They had it about halfway burned down, and uh, it forced every single one of the Six Fins players back. That was what surprised me the most. I, I figured that they'd be able to hold their own over onto B, uh, although, again, I, I, I still think that the experience level of six fins won out on them, and uh, they were able to uh, you know, make those five-man pushes all together like we saw so many times. And I, I think that uh, SA is really going to have uh, a difficult time on this, uh, on this Russian side. It's going to be interesting to see how they come out. Indeed. Loading back in the server... Uh, I think uh, we, uh, I'm ready. Uh, Brett, are you ready? Uh, I am ready, yes. Caster's ready. I hope Caster's are ready. Get out of the squad. Actually, I am going to reload real quick my... Uh, but they can go ahead and go live. You can tell them to go live. I just, right. I just had a little texture glitch, and I don't want to uh, have a texture glitch. So, uh, Brett, just let me know what's going on, and we will um, go from there. An intense match, 45-0, six fins over SA on round one of four on this map, Operation Metro. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, as we stated before, um, you know, that I actually didn't see any mass play. 
I didn't see a single mass, did you? No, I, I didn't. Um, a bit surprising. That was uh, a bit surprising. Uh, we did see uh, we did see plenty of smokes. Uh, of course, the M16s are coming out, but surprisingly enough, there wasn't any mass play over into front lockers. I really expected to see a little bit more of that, uh, as opposed to you know just the just the straight up uh, assault, assault rifles. So I mean, I'm kind of curious as to you know maybe the mass isn't as good as we thought it was. <laughs> Indeed. No, or, I, I uh, maybe right. it just uh, doesn't. I mean, maybe. In yeah, this maybe it just doesn't go it, towards it just, these uh, teams' playstyle. No. So just waiting for the teams to uh, ready up and go. Uh, do we have all the players in? I think we do. And so just waiting for the. Um, just waiting for uh, everyone to go live. And as we are waiting, I would like to plug our sponsors. Uh, yeah, we ahead. have End of Reality, who have provided us four amazing servers. Uh, guys, these servers did not go down a single time during this tournament. Uh, and we had four of them going on all at the same time. I mean, it was amazing. They ran amazingly well. Uh, the players loved them. We had no complaints about them. So definitely go check out End of Reality. Uh, you should be able to go check out their links in the chat box on the side. Uh, definitely do so. They have some pretty good products and uh, definitely uh, a new company, but one you guys definitely should check out. And they have more than just BF3 servers. Uh, they have TF2 servers. They have CSGO servers. Uh, they even have Minecraft servers. I mean, I don't play it, but hey, it's your thing. Uh, and then also we have uh, Astros that are going to be giving us five A40s. So uh, it, it's awesome headsets. In fact, Dastro even has a pair. Uh, he loves them. From what I have heard, yeah. and uh, we are also sponsored by uh, Madcats, who's going to be providing us with uh, five Strike Seven keyboards and mice, and uh, you know those are also quality products as well. Uh, in fact, uh, a couple of the casters this weekend were actually using some, so definitely some good products and some amazing, uh, amazing sponsors. I mean, guys, this is awesome. I mean, being able to have a BF3 tournament and getting these kinds of sponsors not really. Uh, happened in quite some time. I think the last tournament really, and uh, that I was a part of, anyways, was Gigabyte, and that was almost that was more than a year ago. So very impressive uh, to be having these sponsors, and we definitely do thank them. Go check their websites out; they have really good products. Also, uh, we have over a thousand dollars in cash, and that was provided by donators and the event organizers. So definitely thank those guys for uh, putting in their hard-earned cash, literally, to make this thing happen. Yeah, I want to thank uh, all of our sponsors as well, uh, Astro Madcast in, in reality. Thank you so much for helping us. Uh